Hey fellow world warriors, it's Angry Turtle and in this video build we have Peppa Shaker dedicated build which is a heavy gunner build with a twist and that's my Peppa Shaker loadout for the special before application of legendary perks it's as that it is a high level build if you want to include everything due to the dual nature or of it so it's hard to reduce amount of perks now i have legendary luck electric absorption endurance agility intelligence and normally i would have here taking one for the team but it's currently acting up and i don't know if that will get fixed anytime soon so i'm using pick now for the perks as you can see there is scatter shot and lock and load giving insanely good reload speed a rank one of each heavy gunner and shotgunner as they both work to increase damage traveling pharmacy for the carry weight issues skid shooter and green temp if i want some extra flora and uh, no concentrated fire as i'm not really using vats with this particular build it's non vats build bloodied non vats then under endurance life giver camp and, and fireproof and on top of that revenant as it's relatively easy to get a self revive with addition of scout banners i like to add it it's just two points and you can have this extra 50 percent damage after that strength in numbers and tenderizer to further increase my damage boost my mutations under intelligence we have first aid nerd rage for damage stabilized for damage yes stabilized work as long as you wear power armor and bash is included as i'm mainly using fusion cells so those are energy weapons for energy weapons energy ammo then action boy as i had room for one through hiker for my food uh, through hiker is not essential the food buffs are actually not needed for this build uh, the reason i do have through hiker i always have a lot of coffee with me and some nuka cola so that's the purpose for through hiker not as much food as food buffs are not required for this build at all uh, then enforcer just one rank is enough with pepper shaker to cripple everything adrenaline max out for damage dodgy for extra tankiness as we are not really in need to use this ap for anything else we can invest into dodgy and born survival to burn through those steam packs i'm picking up left and right and then accumulate in my inventory then we have luck and here bloody mess for damage Ricochet for tankiness, class freak for less side effects of mutations, curator if I would occasionally use a bobblehead, star genes to keep mutations, and here either good with salt, if I have some particular rare food that I didn't move to the freezer yet, or for most part I will be rocking quick hands, and the reason for quick hands, I rarely use it, but it is a spin-up weapon. Peppa Shaker is a spin-up weapon, so the reload can be sometimes problematic, and less reloads you do, the better your experience with this weapon. So quick hands, strongly recommend for this particular build. Now mutations, adrenal reaction for damage, bear bones to avoid the power landing every time I jump, eagle eyes, I just I just have it. If I would want to use VATS, the side effects of Eagle Eyes are not a big issue. Grounded for extra energy resist. Yes, grounded do not affect Peppa Shaker, so I can have it. Uh, if you plan to use any typical energy weapons, you cannot use grounded. Then herbivore for veggies, herd mentality for extra special, marsupial for jumping higher, scaly skin for tankiness, and speed demon for move and reload speed. The armor. The armor that I'm using is a full set of union with weapon weight reduction on third star the other pieces are just basically random uh, calibrated shock on legs uh, oh i still have a wrong uh, mod for a torso kind of wrong it gives extra care weight it should be emergency protocols i will probably s change it uh, later but currently i'm still running uh, tesla braces on my arms if i want to punch without any weapon equipped and give those uh, robot kills challenges without a weapon equipped uh, normally the mod for your arms is not important and i have targeting hat for my helmet 
So I'm tanky enough even without emergency protocols, although if I would decide to go and drop a nuke, I would notice lack of emergency protocols, so strongly recommended to have emergency protocols, unless you need a jetpack. Now the weapons I'm using, I have one quad pepper shaker for damage output and vampire pepper shaker when the situation is difficult and I need to tank a lot of damage. Gamma gun and tail zapper, that's my setup for self revive if I want to use revenant. And we'll finish with quick demonstration of pepper shaker capabilities. I will not go too much over the pepper shaker itself as I already made a separate video for that. As you can see, the damage drop off is terrible and I'm not really doing damage when Scorch Beast is farther away. But shooting her a little bit and she's crippled and she's on the ground and now I am doing damage if I'm closer. I don't know why is she galloping away from me, but I will take care of some of those Scorch. Oh, now she's in front. It's a two-star legendary, so much tankier than regular Scorch. But as you can see, the damage output is solid, like she is melting. It is not the most powerful heavy gunner build damage output purely, but it is very fun due to the multiple lasers, like whenever you pop up there is a laser show, everyone is looking where the lasers are coming from, especially if it's Scorch Beast Queen event and you are shooting the sky and super easy to cripple everything, like if you're shooting up, that's a real laser show, like multiple lasers going on all the time. And that's the damage output, so oh, I will be taking this legendary item, I earned that, and how beautiful green weather it is today. So absolutely capable of killing everything they built. Look at the reload speed, <laughs> insanely fast. It excels when it comes into tanking, when you swap to Vampire Pepper Shaker. That when you shine, like as long as you are firing from Vampire Pepper Shaker, you basically cannot be killed. There is no such an amount of damage that can take you down as, as long as you are hitting something with that. And that being said, this is everything for the dedicated Peppa Shaker Blooded Power Armor build. I do think in the future I will make another, like, full health, maybe VATS focus, no power armor, just something different. But this is classic. This is the classic approach. Let me know what you think about it. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.